If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you need any code cards, make sure you check out Potown Store for automatic email delivery and use code TABLEMONTH for 5% off all your purchases. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. Welcome everyone, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2020. We are now moving on to Zorogarb and once again big thanks to Alex Garcia for helping us with the list. Yeah, thank you so much. I definitely think I did Garb or Sylvian Justice. Uh, we won some pretty good games. I tried to play to my to the best of my ability. <clears throat> so yeah. We are now moving on to good old Zoro Garb. There's definitely a lot of new things to consider in the meta game. There's like the HPs are getting so so high, and I feel like Rage's Art is always going to be a really bad matchup for this deck. But perhaps Trash Challenge Garbodor dealing 20 damage for each item card in your discard pile can actually do some good. Now we have our 4 4 Zorak line. I'm not playing the Paralyzing Case Zorua purely because I wanted to show off the, <laughs> the shiny Zoruas. Uh, from Hidden Fates, it, like if I'm using Paralyzing Gaze, I'm probably in a bad, in a bad spot. This should be the Paralyzing Gaze Zero. I just wanted to show these off. Um, we have our Shiny Pseudo Widow as well. We have our Golden Tap Leleys as well. Look at that shininess. And we have Zorak with the trade ability. Discard a card, draw two. There's no executes in this list, which I am very surprised now that I think about it. But um, as long as you manage your resources properly, that shouldn't be a problem. We are more of a disruption type of deck with the Paral CDs, with the um, Carbotoxin card, bypassing annoying stuff, and the real Flim Shuckle. Thank you so much for the follow. And yeah, I mean, the strategy is still kind of the same for Zork. We are a disruption deck. We can um, Faba. We can Morty. We Plus reset stamp, which is pretty good. Hue is really nice with Trash Lunch Carp. We have our Rescue Stretcher, we have our Dowsing Machine, we have our Angru to get back resources, so, and we have Wolf Ed even to try and stop our opponents from having um, from having a strong start. So let's switch into Expanded and let's play a little bit of Zoro Garb. Fear the V. Um, I have a special account, that's how. That's the most common question, I feel. Every time someone sees the lock cards and every time they ask, I have a special account that Pokemon gave me. Wrong attack indeed, but if I'm if, if I'm in a situation where I need to paralyze in case, I'll talk about it. Yeah, I'll definitely mention it and then um, we'll just try to not get into that situation. Uh, YT Invincible, thank you so much for the follow. We get to go first. We know we're up against a Psychic deck. Oof, saved by the bell by this Trubbish. So we get to turn one Bridget. Look at that beautiful card on top of Lele. Now I want one. And another new follower, I believe that's Japanese maybe? Chinese, I'm not sure, but thank you so much for the follow. Uh, my opponent starts his own wolf head, but that doesn't stop my wonder attack. How I miss wonder attack, I, I really do miss wonder attack. So we have Ditto, we have Zoruas, we top deck our pseudo Wudo, which is really awesome as well. So I don't see any reason why not to go with triple Zorua. I mean, there's merit to Ditto just to have the extra Trubbish technically. But I feel like I'm gonna retreat to protect the Trubbish this turn. I'm gonna play that, and then do I even want to bench the Dodo? I feel like I'm just gonna parallel see my opponent to start off. See what he tries to do, and then I'll retreat into the Zorua, and I will pass. Fairly good hand to start off with. Fairly good hand. If for whatever reason we get Jesse and James on turn one, we will discard the Sudoro on the Floatstone. 
Yeah, Primordial Warfare, if you're up against Blastoise, it's really good indeed to stop the Tyrant Splash or the Cross Division. So we immediately has the Gunter Stadium. We are playing against Trevenant with our beautiful shiny Zoros. Look at that blue. It's like, it's so beautiful. Oh, my opponent has Guzma. Oh my gosh. Right off the bat. What expanded deck is this? This is Zorogarb. All right, so we're gonna attach the DCE and then ugh, I don't want to end, but I have to. And I don't get a Zork. Yikes. I'll just have to pass. Oh boy. What a start. See the mysterious treasure for the trap break to start the spreading. Silent here, three everywhere. All right, if I can find one, if I can just find one Zorg, I'll be a happy camper. So no abilities for anyone. And I'll just call rest here. Come on, Zorg. There's the Zorg. Perfect. So we won't get any trades off. Right? We won't get any trades off, but that's completely okay. Losing the psychic, not ideal. Not the end of the world. I kinda like playing the Parallel CD as well. And then, goodbye Trevenant. Goodbye Trevenant. We were item locked, but there was no need to play these items. At all, I don't think. Both it gets put active, and now we're good. Enhance Hammer, very annoying. Via Seeker for the Guzma. That's perfectly fine. If I will try to trap something in the active, it can only be either Ditto or Lele or Zorua, probably the Lele. Yep, but we have the energy to retreat and the float stone. So that will be the game. That will be the game. Right, she's beating for the KO and we keep the Garbor and Sylvian streak alive. We are five wins out of five games in today's stream. That's pretty cool. That is pretty, pretty cool. All right, we got a Unified Minds pack, which is worthless in this account for our efforts. <laughs> and let's keep going. Whoops, there we go. There we go. Please, is this the bug again? Is this the bug yet again? Please let it not be the bug. Come on. Usually never takes this long. So, do you ever do you ever stream Smash or just always TCG? Um, I mean, I I streamed Smash once. I I streamed Super Mario World before. I streamed Pokemon video games before. I used to do VGC as well. But generally, I'm the best out of all of those games um, at TCG, and that's what my following has been built with so whenever I stream anything else the viewership is so low that it's just not worth streaming um, I'm hoping to build a bit of viewership with sword and shield I would love to play smash it's just I don't think my internet can handle streaming and online smash games and watching me play against the computer is probably not very fun 
So, yeah, that would be the main reason why I don't stream as much. I also have very little time to stream. So it makes sense to stream what ends up being the best in terms of growth, in terms, in terms of revenue. The revenue has been very poor on Twitch, 100%. It has been very poor, the support um, that way. I mean, I don't do it for that, but it definitely helps um, keep the, the content uh, coming, right? But um, I don't know. I mean, streaming is a way for me to have also YouTube videos. I've thought about maybe trying to switch onto YouTube, see if that's more successful because I have way more followers on YouTube. So that will probably draw a bigger crowd, but I don't know. There's many things that come into this because this is my job, right? If I was just streaming for a hobby or doing Pokemon for a hobby, then if I had a steady, uh, like not a steady job, I have a steady job. If I have a more, if I had a more regular different job, then I might try to stream for fun other sort of games. But since this is my job, then streaming is part of my job. Making YouTube content is part of my job. All of that factors in. And we get to go first against this is probably expanded Reshi's art, I would assume. Mm. Okay, I feel like my opponent's deck has the potential to KO me on turn one. But I think I'd still rather lose a Zorua than a Trubbish. I might actually try to hide the Trubbish and not reveal that in guard to encourage item usage by going for a um, for a Ditto Prism Star. Okay, so this might even be Green Sreshi. I might want to keep, I was very adamant in discarding the Faba, but now I kind of want to keep it to get rid of a potential turn one power plant. Ah, but all the discards seem really bad for the Lele here. They all seem really bad. I think it's Faba and bodybuilding doubles. And just hope I don't get... Wow, and I prized two Zeruas. Perfect. Does that change what I do here? This should have at least one Shaman, I feel. Does this change what I do? I don't think it does. No, it probably should. I feel like I have to sit over here. Because just relying on the one-off trade is just absolutely horrible. And now we know that Zorua is gonna live, probably. Probably. Bodybuilding belts. Bodybuilding dumbbells is really nice to put yourself out of flare strike range. And I definitely don't think I'm gonna need Pseudo Wudo. I'll discard the hue. I'll establish the Ditto. And then I will pass. <laughs> Thank you, Kinsey Warrior. Those those sort of messages, you have no idea how much they mean. They generally matter so so much. Thank you so much for the support and the kind words. It's generally very appreciated. Very, very appreciated. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so, so much for the kind words. Very nice top deck here. Uh, there's no abilities I need to stop. Wesley, I blanked you. Oh, hey. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. How are you doing? Uh, I feel like I just Sycamore again here. N would be, we know my opponent's hand is not that great. So N would be underwhelming and would and might even help him. Okay, so I do find this, which is nice. I should trade first. Pablo, be good at this game and trade first. Uh, probably shouldn't have traded the wolf yet. Okay, so how badly do I want to KO? I feel like very badly, right? I definitely think like I want to KO very badly. Maybe he just didn't KO. Hmm. 
Can I grab the Eternal? If he doesn't KO me, then... If he doesn't have exactly Field Lower or Welder plus two energies, he doesn't KO me. So I think I'm good here. I'll grab the Eternal to tank this hit and then completely heal. The big issue is that I 3 hit KO the Reshi. And Kinte Warrior, I wish they had tournaments in Chicago. Unfortunately, they don't. I wish they had, though. Super awesome weekend at Sheffield? That's great, Wesley. Oh my gosh, my one was actually holding this? Oh no, he wasn't, okay. Wait, what? He fire crystalled for the fire. Maybe he forgot this, the thing. He fire crystalled for the fire. Attached it. And then weldered one. When he could have, if he drew a fire off of the welder, he could have GX KO'd me. What the heck? What the heck just happened? What was your final placement, Wesley? What was your final placement at Sheffield? Okay, so... I mean, if he can KO me, then that's really good. Lele does the same 120. Garb deals 20. Oh, you got second in Master, that's awesome. Oh, you're Logan. <laughs> I didn't know that you were Logan. Congrats, Logan. That's pretty cool. Big, big congrats to you. That's really awesome. I should be trading. Uh, I feel like the stadium is fine. No, the stadium will help me. I feel like it's a Guzma. Or the Flowstone. Probably the Flowstone. Is my opponent just in the wrong ladder? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Big congrats, Logan. You did pretty well as well, right, Nicholas? Okay, it goes for the Great Potion. Is my opponent just playing a standard deck in Expanded? Is my opponent playing a standard deck in Expanded? Okay, he's not because of the Guzma. He goes for the Outrage. So now he's gonna deal to 30. Minus 20, that's to 10 plus 50, yeah. So I can steal a Cerola. Three items now. Okay, let's trade first. That's step number one. You think attacking without the Dolan build would have been better since he could get the knockout? Well, couldn't he just greens for double switch and knock me out? Um, venturing into expanded again indeed, Cola Diamond. I'm not sure what to do here though. We know my opponent has a Guzma. Do I just heal again? I feel like I do. Just heal again. He went for a Guzma and something else. It means I get two trades as well, which is nice. And like I want I wanted him to have extra energy so that I could finish off finish him off with the Lele. So I definitely want the bodybuilding dumbbells. Like I'm trying to get him to commit more energies. I'm trying to get him to commit more energies. And then I'll trade the Ultra Ball. Jeez. Every time. They call me every time when I'm on stream. It's like they know. Stupid banks. I hate them. Okay. 120. I can definitely see the lack of damage output being a big problem with the 270 HP tag teams, though. I'm not liking that about this list. 
Like, I want him to commit more energies. I want him to... to let me knock him out. That's the idea behind this. Double mixed herbs. Double mixed herbs. Yeah, I took out this building though. One, two, three, four, five already. Just goes for the outrage. And then. Now I'll just trade away. I'll evolve. And then I'll trade again. Definitely the coal res. I mean, slowly but surely the items are racking up indeed. There's no point in killing this person. So I'll just attach here. And then go for the riotous. 170, so he has 100 HP left. Maybe I should have attached to a Lele actually. That probably was better. That way I could get another attachment and then finally finish him off. We know he has a Guzma. Which is not too impactful if we have our own. I think we're in control of this. I think we are in control so far. So far. Right, I might be wrong. Okay. So he will heal again. He will heal again, he's at 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 160. Still not enough though. Still not enough. Yeah, no choice bands is really bad. No choice bands, no skyfield is really bad. I don't think. Uh, this is a problem. I'm gonna go this guy. So do I just end here? Is that my plan? To just end? Yeah, I guess. Playing the parallel CD to reduce his damage output doesn't matter anyways. Um by him knocking out the Garf, that opens up. Well, we know he has Guzma as well. We know he has Guzma in his hand. He's been holding that for a while. Morty plus Reset Stamp seems decent. If he goes Guzma KO Zorg, then we go Reset Stamp. Oh no, we can't. If he, if he KOs the Zorg, then we can't do that. <laughs> Never mind. There's the Guzma. I, I believe that's another Guzma though. Fighting Fury Bell, jeez. Wait, what? Oh, okay. We oh no, we can't. No, we still go. Do we go reset stamp? I don't think we do. I think we just go guard. He has no energy after this, so we should be fine. Three energies, three cards versus one, it doesn't matter because we're not threatened by anything. We are generally not threatened by anything. So do I just end? I mean, he's at three cards, it's like... He's already out of the game, pretty much. I'm gonna hold my hand because I want to do red stamp plus Morty. But yeah, this seems overkill though. You need more, higher damage output. You need sky fields. You need choice bands. You definitely need something extra. 
So far the dex damage output against the big tag team seems very underwhelming. One welder. That's fine. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Nine items, that's 180. Gets to fires, gets to attach. Feel like attaching to the bulk would have been better. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Is Rishis are really that good with Blastoise around? Probably not. How do we know Blastoise is around though? There's no meta for expanded. How do we know that Blastoise is around if there's literally no meta game for expanded? Okay, I feel like it's easier to KO two Volks than to KO the Reshi. Right? 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 200 damage. This means 220. Still not enough. So I'm just gonna end here and then I'll trade. Well, I guess that wasn't super great. Yeah, that wasn't a good... Yeah, that was not a good call. <laughs> that was not a good call. I should have just kept my hand and reset stamped. I should have just kept my hand and reset stamped. Because I already have the Kuzma. What did I do? That was a really bad end. And now if my opponent has an energy, we're in trouble. Oops. <laughs> that was a really big misplay on my part. I did not need to do that. I absolutely did not need to do that. Okay, he doesn't have an energy though. Or he has energy Guzma. Does he have energy Guzma? That would be very sad. That would be very sad. Eventually going into Rangru to get back your first Seekers may be good. Oh, come on. Did he get... Be a Seeker energy? Of the two cards plus the top deck? Really? Oof. Okay, can I get a Guzma? Yes, I can. Oof. <laughs> so intense, so intense. I feel like this was unnecessarily hard because we had no way to increase our damage output. No way to increase our damage output. So whilst the bodybuilding dumbbells allowed me to survive for more turns, it also meant his Pokemon survive for more turns. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I feel like Morty plus Reset Stamp is also super situational. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't like the parallels. I mean, it's just one game, right? It's only one game. Well, it's been two, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna take these two out, and I wanna take out the Faba for a more aggressive Skyfield approach. Skyfield, one, two, three, and then I kind of don't like the Oranguru. I feel like that's way too passive. I like the hue to to force them to discard for the guard. I mean, if you're constantly ending and you're using reset stamp, I feel like that's not good enough. So I'm gonna take these two out, and I'm gonna play one execute. And I'm gonna play one Battle Compressor. Hello, Native Ryan. Hello, PokeGX. Compressor. There we go. Liking that a little bit more. Like a more aggressive approach of Zork. Okay, let's try it out. 
And we still have the disruption of Morty plus the reset stamp, which will hopefully be good. But we're still undefeated today. <laughs> Not just with the decks, but we're undefeated today so far. That one game where we started Cernias and just passed, and then our opponent went... Uh, play down to Denny on their power plant, <laughs> that was very silly. That was a very silly game to win for sure. Very, very silly game to win. But we take it, right? We take it. Can you please find opponents? Can you pretty please find opponents? Okay. Looking for a one. Most Rogar is playing two X. Is there more merit to only playing the one? No, no, I mean two is really good as well. Two is really good. Yikes, I can't find a match. Why does this happen? Why does this keep happening? This keeps happening so much. Come on. I guess maybe there aren't that many people playing Expanded Ladder. Maybe. What do I do? Come on. Why can't I find a match? Why can't I find a match? You've also experimented with playing U-turn board for Garb. Mm, I don't think that's good because and then they can always just goose mother Garb. Right? Now my deck is not valid. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, because now then they, they can goose Mother Garb and trap it in the active. Because it's really hard to retreat now. So I'm not particularly a big fan of that strategy. I don't think that's better than Floatstone. Like, as long as you play enough tool cards, replacing the tool card shouldn't be the worry. Right? So I'm not sure that's a great call because then it makes your Garbodor more prone to getting stuck in the active. I haven't tried it out myself, but that's just what I feel like it would happen. All right. Discarding Execute and Call Risk, starting with Shaman. A uh, Shaman would be good in this deck as well. So far it feels incredibly slow. And it's looking like I'm gonna have to Garbage Collection on turn one. Mew Mew, okay, so we're up against Mew Mew. That's cool, that's cool. Finally, like a more real challenge. Get the Execute back. Mysterious Treasures away the Execute. Are we about to get let loose, potentially? We are indeed. Welcome to Expanded. Welcome to Expanded, where your consistency doesn't matter. Sycamore Slab, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Welcome to Expanded, where <laughs> the consistency doesn't matter as long as you get turn one let loose. Here's our loss. My opponent just needs to sky return. Sky return KOs me. <laughs> Sky return KOs me. <laughs> okay. 
So that just happened. What a non-epic way to lose our win streak. <laughs> what a very unepic way to lose our win streak. Oh well. We are playing Zoro Garbin Expanded, the Swift 2. So I feel like I've I've covered pretty much every single deck in in expanded, I mean in standard, and we just played the champion list from this weekend that I figured it was worth it to just um, explore a little bit of expanded. Try and explore a little bit of expanded. Baby Longbun. Okay, now this is more like it. We can compress her for the egg, we can get it back, we can treasure for Lele. Is this Guardi Sylvian though? Are we about to get power planted? We might. There's a power plant. There's Lily and Sycamore and Juniper though. Are we about to get power planted? Well, this kind of helps in case we do get power planted. So that's nice. Energy and eight card turn one a lily must be nice. Into the power plant. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I'll discard that. And I'll discard the Brigetti Spaghetti, and I think that's it, honestly. I think that's it. Three items so far. I'll use prop. I mean, at least we probably are not getting KO'd next turn. Probably, possibly, maybe. We'll see. One trash challenge card is prized. That's not good. Bodybuilding dumbbells makes Garb tank a Kaleida Storm. So that's very nice. Just gonna play it as if my opponent will be able to will not be able to KO me next turn on my will not be able to get KO on my next turn on my Ditto. Uh this seems pretty powerful. And since oh I should have propped oops. I should have propped. Since I don't expect my opponent will um KO me. I should have propped. Come search double legs is neat indeed. That is indeed pretty cool. Level ball for Ring Bombi, so now supporters will not affect fairy type Pokemons. <laughs> Pokemon. We see a Cynthium. So I can't affect my opponent with supporters. My opponent's Pokemon with supporters. I can still end him. I can still Morty him. And there's the fairy song. Okay. We're still in an okay ish spot. I top deck the Zorg, that's always nice. And I have Sycamore right here, which is also always very nice. So it's looking okay so far. It's looking a okay. Yeah, this needs Shaman. 100% this absolutely needs Shaman. I'm gonna prop trade twice. And then we'll see what we do. No, 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 I meant. Oh my gosh. Oops. <laughs> I forgot about the power plant and I clicked my attack instead of the trade. Ugh. Oops. Well, that's bad. That was me being careless. That was me going into automatic pilot for a second there. Oopsies. I mean, I don't feel super threatened. And I can still reach for a 1k KO on this person. Right? Can I? No, I can't because I don't have choice band. Oh my gosh. No, I need... <sighs> okay, well, he healed, so it doesn't matter. Okay, he healed, so it doesn't matter. Gary Sylvian better or worse than expanded? I have no clue. I mean, Gary Sylvian just won a, uh, a regional in standard, so I'd say Gary Sylvian is pretty good in standard. 
Okay, I really need Garbotoxin card this turn to stop that from being annoying. Kaleidoscorm. Storm. Okay, so I need a, a, a huge turn here. I need an absolutely huge turn. If I can stop this from working, I'm gonna be in a fantastic spot. And there we go. Okay, so let's be good this time and replace the stadium. Okay, so step number one is thinning to find the Garbotoxin guard. There we go, perfect. So we'll evolve that guy. And then, do I wanna end? Do I actually want to end? No, I don't. It's just, it doesn't seem like I'm gonna get a big hit. I'd rather Bridget. Bridget would be the dream here. The yeah, even with Choice Band, it's not enough indeed. I could also just KO this bird. Oh no, I can't. I can't Guzma. I can't Guzma. I can't Guzma. Remember, Pablo, you cannot Guzma. Okay, there's a Bridget. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So we get those three down. And then here's the script. We're gonna post on that guy. We're gonna post on this guy to prevent it from going down. We're gonna retreat. One, two, three, four, five items, six items so far. Look, okay, I'm gonna attach the PC. And then I'm gonna go for a righteous beating. So still not two shotting. But now there's no abilities. So now I can Guzma. Uh, hmm, this one's tough. Do I just discard this person? It saves me an ace roll. It takes away a trade, but I'm not trading anyways anytime soon. Yeah, I'll just heal my Zorg. Thank you. Not happy about it, but not. The heck is going on in the background? I know it, right? It's, it's someone selling stuff. It always happens. It always happens. I know, I know it's annoying and I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can do though. Be Seeker. So does my opponent play field blower? That's the question. Doesn't bench the other guardian. I'm surprised. Why wouldn't you want to thin that? Why wouldn't you want to thin that? The item count might be what gets to my opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight now. So that's 116. Okay, so it goes for the attachment and goes for the fairy song. But that's okay, right? Uh, well, it's not super okay, actually. <laughs> it's not super okay. Okay, I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna leave this guy powered up. And I definitely want to field blow away this so that this guy is easier to knock out. And I'll go Colrus. There's no abilities. There are in fact no abilities, but I got a pretty darn good Colrus here. That's enough, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 160 minus 20. Oh, but I won't have. Oh my gosh, I evolved the wrong Trubbish. I evolved the wrong Trubbish. <laughs> no, Paolo, why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. Sorry, I missed that. I evolved the wrong Trubbish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, he goes for a recess, Sam, which means maybe he won't go for the GX attack. Okay. Okay, 
So he activates abilities. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten item cards now. <sighs> wow, that was a big rip on my part. That was a really big rip. <laughs> I mean, not the end of the world, thankfully, but that was still pretty bad. Okay, and now that there's abilities, I don't mind the GX attack too much. And she's 10 short so far, unless she plays down another Fighting Fury build, which is very possible. Very possible, definitely. So what's the worst case scenario? That she takes down this guy? She takes down that guy? No! Oh my gosh, I did it again! I meant to trade! Oh my gosh, I did it again. Why do I keep doing this? I meant to trade. Why do I keep doing this? It's another item. <laughs> I meant to trade. I need to click a different Zorark. Okay, clearly I'm not very used to playing Zorark. I haven't played Zorark in a long, long time because I didn't even play it. Like the last time I played Zorark at a tournament, online I played it like after, after June to showcase the NAIC winner deck. Hello Turbo Darkness. I'm misplaying a lot today. <laughs> That's how I'm doing. How about you? Um, so I played Zorark right after NAIC. So July, August, July and August, I haven't played Zorark in a while. And tournament wise, I haven't played Zorark since When was the El Salvador special event? Like March, right? I haven't played Zorak since March at a tournament. That was my dog. <laughs> Bless you, dog. Uh, my opponent's hitting. She's clearly not playing around Garb. She just lost to Garb, I think. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That last level ball she just played doesn't lose her the game because she has this. But if I can find my other field blower, I don't even know if I have a second field blower. <clears throat> yeah, that wouldn't happen in real life for sure. That wouldn't def that would definitely not happen to me in real life. Okay, so does get the magical miracle off, does reset my hand completely. Not the end of the world. I feel power plant with this would have been really strong. I'll promote this, but if I find field blower, I win. I don't even know if there's a field blower left in my deck, and that's a beautiful top deck. That is a absolutely beautiful top deck. Colrus gets me one, two, three, four, five. Colrus gets me one more card. I don't even know if it's in there. I hope it is. I don't even know. I should know. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Let's just double check. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, times 2, 26, times 10, 260. So there we go. And the cool thing is, the Garb, well, I guess Garb wasn't necessarily out of range because of the Fine Fury belt. Oh, I mean, we pulled it off, so that's good. That's definitely good. I definitely think the Skyfield mattered a lot in this match. Do you think Guardian Sylvan is really that good? Your green stretches are can't beat it every time. Ah, uh, well... I think Guardian Sylvan is very good, yes. But obviously Reshi's Art is its worst matchup. But that doesn't... Like, just because you have one bad matchup doesn't mean a deck isn't good. If you beat everything else but that, then that means the deck is good. Yeah. All right. So, I think that's going to be it for Zorogarb and for today. I actually have a really bad headache, um, which like it's not the reason I've been misplaying, I don't think, but I definitely think um, I need to step away from a monitor right now, because I think that's what's causing the headache. Um, it's been fun though. The like that last game with the champion guardian deck where we beat ability Regisard, I think is a really good showcase of not only the deck but also my skill, which is always awesome. And 
Um, Zoro Garp was fun to use. Yeah, Zoro Garp was, was fun to use. I definitely think you need the extra damage output at Skyfield. I don't think the disruption with Parallel CD is that great anymore. Um, I might be wrong. Obviously, it's only been three or four games. It needs more testing. But that will be all from me. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. If you hung out with me for the last two hours on Twitch, I really, really do appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys who are here day in, day out. It's really, really great to see the support. And I will see you tomorrow for more PTCGO action. I have stable card built. I feel like I really want to try a Mewtwo Archie stack. So I'll probably get on building that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Thank you so much for joining today. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.